So last year was uh, my low point. I was having a lot of trouble with school. Um, I wanted to do better in school. I wasn't do doing better in school, and so I was feeling like a constant failure. I was feeling a lot of self-loathing, self-hatred. Um, aside from that, and more importantly, my, my sister had been having chronic health issues for about 10 years at that point. And at that point, we weren't sure if she was just going to get worse and die, or if she was going to reach a state of dementia, or what was going to happen. And for me, just being able to stand by and watch it happen was extremely difficult and painful. And I didn't want my parents to have two children that were dysfunctional like that. So I tried to hold all my emotions inside and pretend like nothing was wrong. And a combination of those two things, just holding all that pain, self-hatred inside, not talking about it was something that just made it really difficult for me. And I started having suicidal thoughts and the only thing I would feel was anger or sadness. That was my state of being. And I realized that that wasn't something I wanted. That's not how I wanted to live my life and I didn't want to end my life. So I reached out to UBC Counseling. And they were really good. They were really helpful at talking about things and they referred me to the Men's Transition program, which is a really good program that's put on by counselors that specialize in men's mental health. And it's a, a group of guys get together and they facilitate the conversations around being able to reach out for support, being able to talk about your emotions and finding ways to help yourself work through those emotions. And that was a really big turning point for me was using those skills to move past it instead of having it be the focus of my life and stewing in it. Um, I was able to move past those, those emotions. Um, and you know what, things still come up, but nowadays if, I'm, if I recognize those emotions are coming back, then I make sure to talk to someone. I make sure to spend time with friends. I used to isolate a lot. And you know, I still work on spending time with friends and people I care about. Um, making sure I get a good night's sleep. Exercise is really important for me. Um, main thing though is just spending time with people and being able to talk about things because, you know, spending every night at home alone and not talking about how you feel is just a pretty bad combination. And so now I, I know how to do that and I can work through those emotions and that's been really, really important for me to be able to get to the point where I can live my life and actually enjoy it as opposed to just focusing on everything that I didn't know how to work through.